What's poppin', what's poppin', and what's poppin' again? This your big homie MC Ron Ski, the OG. Let's get the intro out the way right fast. No chill, no filter. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get this out the way right fast, okay? Um, first things first, I've been getting wrenched out to a few by a few people, you know what I'm saying, asking me to do um, some recaps. And you know what? I think that's hot. I, I'm, I'm really digging that. I appreciate y'all for reaching out to me, man. Shout out to Quattro Times 2. Um, <clears throat> he wanted me to recap a battle. Um, first things first, man. I need to shout out you cameraman, man. Dude, shout out to the cameraman that's actually out there taking care of their business, man. The unsung heroes of this game. Because if it wasn't for us, there would be no y'all. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, man, great work, cameraman. Y'all doing y'all thing. Kudos. Um, <clears throat> the battle that I'm about to recap, man, I definitely like the uh, camera work. You know what I'm saying? Um, that is uh, Asian Orange versus Bros. And that was no filler. Shout out to no filler, man. I really like y'all battle league, man. Um, y'all, y'all finna do some serious things. Y'all finna do some big things. Just keep it up, brother. Um, okay, so first things first. Let's jump off into it, man. Um, oh yeah, I did. I didn't mention um, my man, Mr. Mills, and the young homie, Lil Uzi, was there, man. Yes. Uzi, not Lil Uzi Vert. But in any event, they was there, man. They was in attendance and they was making it, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more hype than it was. Um, yes, you know, keeping it all the way 100, it was kind of like a night of amateurs. Um, bros, you, 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 you brought, you brought some drama, man, but Asian Orange... Yeah, man, that, that white guy definitely um, a, a Irish. He's a ginger, I guess what they call him, you know what I'm saying? The, the orange or the red hair or whatever, man. That was, yeah, but that was almost a glitch at the bottom of the second round that went like this. Bros ain't even y'all bros. Standing in front of this, he gonna use one of y'all to give him shield his ass. Either way, once again, white boy getting away with murder. I completely understand why these athletes are taking the kneel to grass. <laughs> And gasp you should because that was this close to saying nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> almost. Almost. But um no cigar. He didn't it ain't like he, you know, that once again, shock value. That's what that's what you get, man. You know what I'm saying? And um uh I wanna say bros uh, man, it was it seemed like you 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 wasn't very sure of yourself, man. You got to be a little bit more sure of yourself when you're actually out there battling, especially when you're battling people that's really coming prepared, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying when you're battling somebody outside your race, you need to understand, man, especially with our situation, white folks can't say nigga, but we can call them crackers and hunkies all day, every day. But... They can actually bring bars, man, that will definitely do the thing, which is what Asian Orange did. I definitely appreciate what he did. The AOL flip, man, um, that bros came with, man, was dope. Um, I'm glad he did come with a rebuttal for the <laughs> situation that was at the bottom of the second. Um, which was cool. Man, thank Fofo Cannon for putting you on this back burner. I came to Nat just to kill a white man. I'm Nat Turner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even uh, AO was even saying something about white on white crime with, you know what I'm saying? Um, I guess some guy that was in the crowd or whatever, which was dope because he he came hard on that. You know what I'm saying? So, but in any event, man, I had to, you know, edge that over to Asian Orange, man, because. He just had more content, man. He had more feeling. He just had more confidence in his bars, man. And he definitely knew what he was doing. So, that battle, I hate to say it, man, but it was definitely a body, man. Um, I just didn't, I just, you know, it is what it is, okay? Um, bottom line is, man, I gave that battle to Asian Orange. Once again, that slip, boy. Oof, man, man, man. Almost, almost. But that's cool. We ain't going to trip on that. <clears throat> all right, second battle. This is something that, you know what I'm saying, I haven't ever done because all these are from different um, 
from different um, battle leagues. So this next one is from Midwest Militia. It was my young homie PDX Ocean Views versus Mr. ABM. Once again, um, I can't say it was a night of amateurs or a day of amateurs or whatever because it was PDX Views debut battle. He did well though, you know what I'm saying? He did well, he stumbled a little bit, but he didn't choke, my man, you know what I'm saying? But his projection, his swag, he can actually get people to start, um, I guess, you know, warming up to him if, you know, he can make sure that his bars stay on point like they was. And he, he definitely stayed on point. Uh, Mr. ABM, he needs a little bit more confidence, man. And there was a major choke, too, in the second round. And then he just didn't really seem all that interested. He was just pretty much like... I mean, I, I don't... I didn't under, really, really understand what he was saying. Um, <clears throat> then to cut the third round short and just to leave us hanging like that... That was, so that was a clear body for my boy, PDX Ocean Views. And y'all need to understand something. Once again, this is not a biased situation right here. I'm not biased. This isn't a biased platform. Um, I'm glad that, like I said, you guys reach out to me. And I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying, the man to holler at. Because I'm going to give you no chill, no filter TV. Or no chill, no filter opinions on what it is. You know what I'm saying, the how it is that I feel. Because I'm a fan first. I'm a big fan of you guys. Because for real, for real. Y'all, y'all the MVPs, but y'all need to understand something. You really need to start showing these cameramen a little bit more respect than you do. All right. <clears throat> off that, off to the next one, man. Bankhead versus Wine Mate Stunner. You know what? First things first, let me get this out the way, man. This here is a competitive sport. And I call it a sport because you can't get up there out of shape. You know what I'm saying? If you get up there out of shape, you really go, if you, if you, if you ain't got your win right, you're going to lose the crowd because they're going to see that you're visibly struggling. You know what I mean? And if you're physically struggling, your, your, your lyrics going to struggle, your bars going to struggle, and that's going to make your whole performance struggle. So you really got to be high yourself together. But I say that to say this. In a competitive sport, you have to have a winner and you have to have a loser, okay? If you can't lose with grace, you never actually win. You can't get mad at people because they say, oh, man, I think dude was better than you. You can't jump on people for saying that. You know what I'm saying? That makes absolutely no sense to me. This is a democracy. This is not a tyranny. This is not a dictatorship. You can't make people follow you. If you want people to follow you, bring bars in. That's, that's why they call it battle rap, because y'all battling, y'all going against each other. You can't sit up there and get mad at people because they have an opinion. You know what I mean? So y'all really need to calm that garbage down. It's really getting on my nerves. Look, and I'm just going to say something specifically here. When I said um, Jay Ackwright, the battle between Jay Ackwright and YMA Stunner, I said you won YMA Stunner. What's the big deal if I said that the man stood up to you? He did. He did have bars. You know what I'm saying? And you get upset because I said that. Okay, with that being said, dog, you's a loser for that. With, for me, with, with, in my eyes, man, you a loser for saying, oh, dog, you know what I'm saying? How you going to say he, he, he stood up against it? He did. You know what I'm saying? That right there makes you a loser, fam. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. If you ask my opinion, I'm going to give it to you. Don't get mad because I say something, you know what I'm saying, that you don't agree with. I'm pretty sure there's people out there saying right now that they wish I would stop. They, they, they probably don't agree with me. They probably say I'm some old, ugly-ass man or whatever the case is. But you know what? That's not going to stop me. I know what it is that I'm doing. There's a bigger picture for me. Unlike a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I say that to say this. Don't be a loser, man, because if you can't lose gracefully, you will never win, ever. Understand that. And I'm talking to everybody who feel that way, for real. So, I'm going to say that to, I said, I say that to say this. YMA Stunner and Bankhead, I, as, I, as I posted on that battle, under and that's what I really need for y'all to start doing. You know what I'm saying? Start really coming under the YouTube battles. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe, you know, comment, like, share, and, and comment under the battles. Not on Facebook. You know what I mean? That's not really helping people. And what y'all need, another thing y'all need to understand is while y'all getting mad at the fans, if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be y'all. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna get mad at somebody because they say this person won and you didn't? Stop playing, dog. Okay, so with that being said, man, um, as I said in that battle, under the under in the comments below of that battle, um, 
I said, well, I may Steiner actually got off. He did better than I thought he would because his first battle that I saw was with him and Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam didn't really do it for me. He didn't really do nothing. So that kind of, that kind of, yeah, you won that battle versus Uncle Sam at the same Mercy Battle League um, event. But, I mean, you didn't really battle nobody. But I still felt that you wasn't a beast. You know what I'm saying? And then when I saw the battle between you and um, Bankhead, I see, yeah, you do got bars. But in any event, man, I gave it to Bankhead. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't to a point where I'm giving it to him because you was ass or you sucked. He just had better bars to me. You know what I'm saying? I liked it what he was saying. The man came out and he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, you asked for it and I gave it to you. No chill, no filter TV. That is, it is what it is. Hood versus J Skills. I said I was gonna say something about that. Um, the people that were there, they saw that it was a clear win. You know what I'm saying? Hood, uh, J Skills didn't have nothing for Hood. I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. I do believe it was J Skills versus Hood. If it, if I'm not saying that right, then forgive me. But yeah, um, either way it go, Hood took that. Um, and as I look at it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it was it was clear. Uh, so with that being said, them all that's 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 all them all the battles that I'm gonna recap for the day. Um, I'm hoping that you know what I'm saying. I said some things to really reach out and let y'all as battlers know, man. We are fans, fam. We are going to have our opinion. This isn't a dictatorship. This isn't a tyranny. This is a democracy. So anytime y'all battle, if y'all say, yeah, man, y'all pick who won. Okay, then, you already giving it to us. You already putting it in our hands. If you can't accept the, if you can't accept it, then if you can't accept the decision, push, leave, go somewhere else, move to another sport. And like I told dude, strike candy or something. At least if you strike candy, you already know it's already it's already uh, 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 programmed in the machine. So all you got to do is just press a button. And, that, and now you can say, you know what? I want 15 stripes on this piece of uh, candy right here. Now you're good. Now everything goes your way then. How about that? Now everybody wins, right? Okay. So with that being said, this is your big homie MC Ryan Ski. Once again, man, shout out to No Filler Battle League. Midwest Militia, um, of course, Pops Battle League. That's who I made Stunner and um, my man Bankhead. That's who they battled under. Um, and, of course, you know what I'm saying, Spit That Heat Battle League, uh, Midwest Alliance, Say Mercy, ALW, Perfect Mess. All y'all dudes get my, get my respect, man. You know what I'm saying? If you need me, holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm there. So, with that being said, man, Hood versus J Skills, spit that heat, you know what I'm saying? They did their thing. Everybody did their thing. Like I said, man, start respecting the cameraman, dog. Y'all really need to start showing us a little bit more respect, man, because what's going to end up happening is y'all going to need us, and uh, <laughs> we ain't going to be there. So... With that being said, man, shout out to everybody, man, who I mentioned in this here vlog, man. I'm hoping that y'all enjoyed it. Once again, there are some links below. Y'all can go ahead. Um, the the battle, the actual battles that I mentioned, um, well, with the exception of the one with PDX and Mr. ABM, because I that's on Facebook, so y'all can find that there. But the other ones, I um I posted them below. So if y'all want to actually check those battles out, and y'all can um you know what I'm saying be on own judges have your own opinions on it click the comments you know what i'm saying click in the description below you'll see it um other than that it's your big homie mc ryan ski you already know how i feel about feelings around here that's the reason why i say what i say so until next time dog if you upset stay upset Peace.